Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So I am currently working on my October 2024 Wednesday holiday video series. Oh this is the last one for the month of October. I am like dumbfounded. I'm a little scared because Christmas is like literally guys around the corner. <coughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, can't believe it. Oh my goodness, that means 2025 is going to be here in a flash. It just is. So welcome to my channel, everybody. If you are new to my channel, thank you for showing up and looking into what I do on my YouTube channel. If you are a returning watcher or a subscriber, thank you so much for returning. So just for your information, I do a every month series, a Monday series, a Saturday series, where I concentrate on a particular stamp set suite or bundle. For the holidays, I am doing a um, double videos on Wednesdays, a A and B series. One is a fall card and one is a holiday Christmas card. This is the Christmas card. Actually, it's not a card. It's a package. It's a little uh, gift card holder idea, something I had to, I wanted to do something to end kind of special, a little something different. So I hope you all enjoy this one. For those of you who, you know, you could hang this on your Christmas tree. You could put it on your mailbox for your mail delivery person or your doorknob for a special neighbor or somebody. We are going to be using, yes, the naughty and nice. This is so cute. This time we're going to use St. Nick Naughty and Nice, the label that goes with the labeled with love um, punch, which reminds me, where is it? It's hiding. Here we go. Need this one um, from St. Nick Naughty and Nice, this bit and this. So I'm going to set that hopefully over there. And let's see what I have for us. So, guys, I I don't really have a whole lot besides the Iconic Celebrations DSB. Don't have a lot of Christmas paper. I didn't want to be stuck with it, right? So, um, I brought out the Tidings of St. Nick. I had got it on the clearance rack for a great deal. So, that's what I'm going to be using. So, Right here, you'll see, let me show you a little sample of what we're doing. This was with some um, DSP that was given to me by the lovely Phyllis. So I made this cute little holder to hold what looks to be like a great big gift tag. And on the back here, you can either put a strip of DSP, which we might do to hold a gift tag, or you can glue it in with some tear tape, right? So it will hold it. On the back here, what looks to be a gift tag to and from, or you can write a message on it. And guys, what's really cool is we are going to be using 3x5 index card. Now, I would recommend, I need this, um, I would recommend using the unlined cards, but I just glued two back to back. Um, I have a stack of these for my junk journaling, and I just brought them out. I thought that was good. And then my measurements, you'll need two of these. I didn't put this down. You'll need to cut two DSP, three and a half by six, and score it at three. And I'm going to show you my two pieces. So I have one this way, and these are these two pieces. So I'm using this side of this one. This is the top. This is the bottom. They are both three and a half by six. So one's going to go this way and one is going to go this way. Those of you who saw my July envelope idea, right, <clears throat> that I showed you, I also did it for um, a recipe idea to go with my jam for Christmas, which I really need to get hot on getting my recipes done up so I can give those out with all the jam I've made out of my garden. Um, this is reminisce this is where that idea um where my idea came from was from this envelope i wanted to make it taller and i wanted to make it a single and i want to put some holes at the top so it can hang that's where this idea came from from this envelope so let's we have our two pieces of dsp three and a half by six scored at three we need 
we're going to make a little belly band for it. So we have one piece of cardstock, one by 11, because you can always trim it off if you want to. We have four index cards, three by five. I already glued mine together with the line side because I didn't have any that was unlined. So I just glued two together. Um, makes it also a little thicker. Cut one piece of DSP. Oh, where is it? Right here. This is from my the front of my belly band. Three quarters of an inch by three and a half. Um, cut two strips of DSP three and three quarters by five. That is for our tags that we're going to be making. Um, we have a scrap white that we're going to stamp and punch with the labeled with love. And where is my Santa hat? It's already stamped and fussy cut out and it may be lost it's so tiny that we might have to do it again on camera but i did guys try to have it done and it's probably gone and so it begins <laughs> i don't see it anywhere i see naughty and nice naughty and nice came off its block that was not nice and the santa hat yeah is missing but it's okay We'll do another. You can see that's where I messed up. This is where I fussy cut it out of. We'll just do another. I just put the stamp away is all. <laughs> Maybe it'll show up here by the time we need it. We'll see. Okay, let's get started. Oh, maybe. Let me check the floor real quick. No Santa hat as of yet. Check the glass mats. Let me move all of these. Oh, looky there. There's our wee little Santa hats. It was just under the ink pad is all. So first things first is we are going to stamp. <clears throat> We're going to stamp our label. And this is where I was going to struggle with what do I do? Because I kind of felt like I wanted to do from St. Nick, right? I kind of thought I wanted to do this um, in early espresso. I wanted to do, see, I just wasn't sure what I wanted to tell you the truth. I'm going to go with my gut on this and I am going to, yes, I'm going to go with my gut, what I originally wanted. So I'm going to stamp the label in real red. Hopefully I stayed enough away from the edge. And then I'm going to bring in the early espresso. I can close up this because I don't think I'll be using it again. And I want to do from St. Nick an early espresso to tie in my belly band. I wanted to do it kind of up here. And then this little bit I wanted to do in Mossy Meadow. <clears throat> and then Naughty and Nice is going to go on one of the tags. So I wanted to bring this in here. And then I'm going to need a little bit here just so I don't like. Oops, let's put it right here. And I'm just putting the dot back onto the dot, hopefully. There we go. Except this one didn't have its line. Ooh. So can I like get it on there with the line? I don't know. Okay, we're not gonna worry about the line. <laughs> I'm not gonna go that far. I'm not gonna worry about the line right now. Let's punch it out. <clears throat> This is for our belly band. And 
And that's that. That's for that piece. Our little hat is going to go right there. And then for our tags here, move that aside for the moment. We don't need that anymore. What I want to do is we are going to glue this down the side. And yeah, it might need to be trimmed up. Because I did trim them up because, you know, they're cheaply made. They're just index cards and they weren't all perfectly um, even when I glued them down. So I just evened them up with the guillotine there. Next thing I did is I took a tag like this and I'm going to make them look like a tag, but you can do the same thing by cutting an edge of an old um, gift card or store card that they give you credit for when you don't have your receipt, which happens to me all the time. But the only thing to do, if you do do that with the store card, just make sure you use the same side. This one I know is the same. So there's one tag. Now we're going to make another, and this time we're going to go on the opposite side. So one for the outside pocket, one for the inside pocket. Then we're going to do a little stamping with the iconic imagery. We're going to use the little Christmas tree in Mossy Meadow. See this? Right there, you can see where it's not even. We're going to just even that up with the guillotine. Apparently, I missed this side. So, it's no big deal. We're just going to chomp it off like that. Now it's even. So, bring this back in. One side then the other I have a really old to and from stamps that I am going to use for my to and from there are a set of to and from's in paper pumpkin if you are a paper pumpkin subscriber I do need to think about making a little pocket back here so let me grab the paper packet because I didn't think about that I know I have some extra little bits of like DSP here that can go on the back. This would be going the wrong way. So we're just going to uh, we'll use the red because that's what we're using on. I'm trying to get the paper back in the holder. That is not wanting to go in at all. So we'll just put it down on the side. Okay, we're going to make a pocket. Let's see that card. Oh, that should be plenty enough to hold it in place. Okay, so this is one, one and three eighths, and it needs to be by three. So one and three eighths by three. I'll have to try to remember to put that in my notebook. Give me a second. By three. We'll make a note real quick. One and three eighths by three. Four back to hold gift card. All right. <clears throat> but we don't want to put this on until we do some stamping. Because we're going to stamp. Of course, we're going to stamp. But let's get this started to be glued. And you're going to need one of these to set in here to see because that's what I did on mine. Let me take this away so you actually see what I'm doing. So I'm going to stick my three by five tag that I just made 
my little bottle just got a hole in the side. I already had one do that, but they are like five, six years old. So it's time for a new set, I think. Somewhere I have some more. So I'm going to add glue. You could add tear tape. I really like my wet glue. You guys know that. I'm going to put glue along that side. I'm going to add glue, hopefully, along this side. Now, I'm going to start to lay this down, right? But I don't want to go all the way down. I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to lay this in. But I want to make sure I have enough headroom here for this to close, right? All right, so now that that is in play, this is gonna need a little bit more gluing. <clears throat> All I'm doing is adding it along the side like that, and then I'm gonna use some paper clips to hold that down and then we'll get on with the stamping and that will help it stay adhered we need this that's just going to help pinch it while we do stamping so like i said we are using the little christmas tree and some mossy meadow green. I lost my little... I'll have to bring the other one in. I don't know what happened to my other one. Okay. So where's my tag? Now I lost the tag. So this little tree, let's see, we have this one. So one, you're going to write a message on. One is going to be to and from, or you could have them both to and from. Um, I'm just going to make them both to and from, but I'm looking for the one that we just took out of this, right? How can I have lost it that quick? Oh, it's underneath there. No wonder why. This is the one. For the back, this is the one for the inside. So the inside one is going to get from and to. And then I'm going to stamp my little Christmas tree. And then I'm going to fill it in with the other stamp. Stamp off, fill it in. All right, so that's, now this is the back. Let's add some more little Christmas trees. And why do we add a little more little Christmas trees? Oh, you know why. Because we can. That's why. Certainly. Because we can and we want to. And it's fun. It's why we do this. We do this so we can stamp. At least I do this because I enjoy stamping. All right. So there's one tag. This is going to be have the little pocket back here. I guess I didn't have to do the little Christmas trees down at the bottom. And you just need to add glue on the sides and across the bottom. Ooh, I have a little Christmas tree that's die cut out that I could put right there. Oh, that was just sitting here on my desk saying, use me, use me. I'm right here. Can't you see me? Yes, I can see you, little Christmas tree. Now you have a place to be. All right, so there's one tag. This one now, you could write your message, and I didn't. Oh, we were going to use naughty or nice. 
from St. Nick. No, we were going to do naughty or nice. And I want this in the early espresso. I thought this would be cute. Move the mossy meadow. So you could do it either down in the corner or right in the center, but I like it down here in the corner. And then you can check whatever you think suits the person you're giving it to, right? And let's stamp some more Christmas trays. Maybe just one on this one. I think so. Maybe one there. I think I'm going to leave that, just that one. I think I like that. Okay, not too difficult, not, you know, too messy. It's not meant to be. Okay, let's see if this has stuck now. All my little paper clips back in their little dish. Oops, where's the one for the gift card? Oh, that works perfect. So this would go on the inside here. Oh, is it going to be too tight? No, it's going to work. That's going to work great. This is going to go on the outside pocket. This is a snug fit, I'm telling you. You don't want to like... Why is that like... What did I do? I don't understand why it's not wanting to go through. The Christmas tree. It's the Christmas tree on the back. That's what it is. Christmas tree is not a good idea. It's getting caught. Because remember, yeah, this little guy is getting caught. Causing all kinds of havoc back there. So give it a second. Hmm. That wasn't a good idea. We're going to have to... That is getting caught... Now it goes all the way down. Oh, Christmas tree, you're per quite a little difficult there. This will go in its little pocket back there. This is coming forward. Now I'm going to use a corner rounder on my little corners here. And I have plenty of room right here to put little holes. I told you I want to make this for a hanger so I've got a little hole right there And our belly band. So you got to make sure your belly band can be slipped on and off. So I don't want to like crease it too hard. I want it to slide on and off. So I don't want it like super, super tight. So we're going to test it. That looks really good. We're going to glue this now together. Right to my finger we can add glue. Then we have our little bit of DSP to put on it, which I'm starting to wonder, is it a little longer? It's the same width as the DSP. I'm just starting. I think I just want to take like the tiniest hair off of it. And that's just my eye. 
you know, and I really mean like a hair <laughs> off. And I know I'm going to like it better, and I do. I just wanted that little hair off. So I'm going to leave the measurement as it is. I'm going to tell you, use your eye. There's my wee little belly band. And then, look, at, isn't that cute? From St. Nick. Oh, yes. And I really think that this needs an extra bump. Not bump up, but an extra piece to make it a little thicker. So I'm just going to do an extra one and glue these two together. I would say tonight is taco night, guys. And no, it's not Tuesday. <laughs> Actually, oh my goodness. It's, well, you guys are watching it on a Wednesday, but today is Tuesday. So it is Taco Tuesday. That never happens for us. Taco night is whenever we want to have tacos. So I just need to put glue down the center, right? You could use dimensionals. You could use whatever you want, but I just think it needs glue. Now, our wee little Santa hat. Ooh, see my bottle? You see that is leaking. What a mess. Bottle is going in the garbage after this video. There's no saving that. There is no, I um, could duct tape it to pieces, but we're not going to bother with that. It's just, mm -mm. thank you for your service to my craft. Crafting that you are retired permanently. This is your last hurrah. I might keep the cap. So there we go from St. Nick. Now there are two choices. We have this red, which is from a paper pumpkin, which is really flat or I really want to use this. And I'm sure it was from the dollar store. It has a brown color. That's really close to early espresso. Um, I really like it. So that's what I'm going to do. This is cherry cobbler. That was from paper pumpkin, but I really want this. And so I'm going to use it. Lick the fingers, twist it, because it's not wanting to go through. So maybe this is a little packaging idea you can use for the holidays. I mean, I could still put like a cherry cobbler um, little bow on it as well. I'm trying to think of how I want to do that. Do I want to pull it like all the way to the side down here and do a bow at the end? Let me show you what I mean. <clears throat> Do it all the way. I think I, I am going to do it like this. So I'm going to pull it down to the side because we have the Santa hat to the right, right? I just want enough so we could hang like on a doorknob. And I am going to, where's the end of it? That is so much more than what I need, I know. Because I just need a loop and a loop. Oh, maybe not. We'll go with it. All right, so I need to do this one now that it's cut. So this one comes over. I'm going to go back this way. Oh, goodness. Maybe I don't know what I've done. I had an idea and now it's failed me in my brains. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, but somehow I do bring it up here. I don't want all that. I want it smaller. Like I said, I just want it to go like on a doorknob. So 
So I need to just figure out how to tie it where I want it without making a huge muck of things. Behind there. There we go. This should do it. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry guys. You know what needs to be done first? Is all of this needs to come, one of these, something needs to come out. Both of those. That needs to come out. Put a knot in here. Otherwise, it's all going to get messed up. So put a knot at the top of there. There. Take that off. Now, uh, I got it. And now I can put it in here and knot it. Yes, I got it. It just took me a while to figure it out. Push that through. Push that through. Right. Then I'm going to tie a knot here. Then I can tie a little bow. I don't know why I had to try to make it so difficult. The answer was right there in front of me. Now I can tie the little side bow I wanted. And I have way more string than I need. Oh, so cute. And of course it didn't want to cut well for me. All right, let's put our little belly band on again. There we have it. Oh, so, so cute. See, and now it will hang. Now it will hang. So when you slide this down, open it up. And yes, we might have to move our knot up a little. Might have to untie it and make it a little farther up there. The first little knot so that you can actually open that up. All right, let's untie the knot. Yes. Okay, I'll do that off camera, or should I just fix it now for you guys? You guys know what's going to bug me. It needs to be just a little higher up like this one, and I have it too close. Okay, let's try again. We need to put the knot farther up. Oops, might help if I tie it the right way. Up here. So that the envelope will open all the way. There. Now this will open all the way. We have it. Okay. Can still make our little bow. And our little Saint Nick. And we're going to add little stickly goodness or the little, what, enamel effects. We're going to add the red stickly bits to the Santa hat. Oh yes, just to make it sparkle. That looks 
look so cute. And then <laughs> I really should wait until it dries, but I'll show you. We're going to add the enamel effects in the white down here. We'll try my look. I'll smear it all to the Santa hat. Oh, that came out really good. Let me hold it up so you guys can see how cute that looks. Doesn't that look really cute? So that's my little... You could have it as a party favor. I mean, it can be a lot of things, but that's what I got for you today, guys. And I really hope you like the series that I'm doing for the holidays. Thank you all so much for allowing me to do this. I just have the best time coming out here and creating for you. Now it's taco night and um, the little glue bottle. Say thank you for your service so much and goodbye. <laughs> into the recycle not recycle bin and that is in the garbage bin um and um i hope more than anything that if you like my videos and you like what i share with you that you would consider subscribing to my channel if you already have i want to thank you so much because you make doing this just beyond my wildest dreams thank you thank you thank you so much and um if you have time to comment and let me know your thoughts on um, this project. I would love to know that because I wake up each day and I look for those comments. I read those comments while I charge. It takes, you know, anywhere from half hour to 50 minutes to charge the battery in my back and I have to lay still. And so I do that each morning and it is the the best way to start my day. Thank you all so much. And please come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye-bye for now, everybody.